And we're trying to give you bite-sized pieces of information that you can listen to while you're on your walk, watch while you're folding laundry, stuffing diapers, whatever's going on in your life. Jen from Spray Pal and I'm Dave. He's Dave, Mr. Spray Pal. I think this is episode like four in our series on how to use cloth diapers the easy way. Today we're going to be talking about what happens when the honeymoon phase of breastfeeding, nursing, not needing to spray out those diapers comes to an end and you start feeding your baby solids. <laughs> So we can vividly remember the very first diaper our daughter gave us in a Grovia hybrid shell. It was really disgusting, but the best part was um, she was like stopped up after starting solids for about five days and we were really worried about when it was going to happen. And it did in a car, in a car seat, of course. And yep. luckily that Grovia shell managed to contain the entire mess. So even the odor until you opened it up. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just knocked your socks off. So basically, yeah. we knew it was time to change our regular cloth diapering routine to include something, a tool that would um, allow us to dispose of the solid waste before putting the diaper into our pail liner for laundry day. So we got a diaper sprayer. This was six years ago. Yep, Danny. She's going to be turning seven. So yep. this was like six, six and a half years ago. And, um, we got ourselves a diaper sprayer. We had super, super high water pressure. Mm -hmm. um, now we have the Spray Pal diaper sprayer, which also, if your home has high water pressure, will be super, super powerful. And um, we tried it on our first yeah. spot diaper. And it worked. It worked great. It but, blasted the poop right off. Yep. Into but, the toilet, around the walls, onto my shirt. On our pants, on our legs. Yeah. It was a disgusting yep. mess. So it's actually the reason why my handy dandy husband here invented the spray pal shield so our recommendation of course and obviously is that when you start feeding your baby solids you invest in this little system right here because this is going to come in handy not only for the entire time that your baby does not have ploppable poop which for us has been oh what are we on now five years mm -hmm. our son's still Pooping in cloth right. diapers, and he is five years old. Um, no he's a special sight. case, though, so don't don't worry. You, your yeah, child we're will be the most likely case study of any, any come out of diapers with the spray pal. Which is pretty fitting that we invented it because we sure do get a lot of use out of it. But we still used it even with like if we have messy anything that we want. Like if if our daughter would get a stomach bug and, and threw up on her pillowcase and we didn't want to throw the, the, the sheets and the pillow in the laundry yep. without rinsing it, you could just kind of hold it in here and spray it off and it goes in the toilet and keeps the rest of your house completely clean and germ free, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, so it's definitely a worthwhile investment and it will outlive your cloth diapers too. You can use it for other things um, after your children are out of diapers. So we obviously highly recommend it. Um, Check but, them how it's yeah, for let's your ring show it too. how it, well, let me just show you how it works in general. So maybe show them general. through the bottom how wide it opens. And then we have this clip here at the top. So we have demo videos on YouTube that are specifically just with the diaper sprayer hooked up. Here, you hold this for me. But mm -hmm. basically, I set it on, I put the lid of the toilet seat up. I set this on the toilet seat. Leave it, and I leave it flat like this, sitting on the toilet seat. And then I take, let's say, this is this is a smart bottoms diaper. Let's say it's full of poop. And a lot of people want to ask how to spray this particular diaper because it has these flaps that like to fall in. So first off, what I recommend is that you tuck the flap under when you put the diaper on your baby so that it lays like this. And then when it gets poop and wet, that little under flap is going to actually have some assistance sticking to the back and it won't flop out as easily. But then basically I'm just going to take this and put it in here like it's a pizza oven and lay it down there with the poop all on there. Or you can snap it over it. This yeah. is her preferred method. This is my preferred method. And like then you just away. clip it into the top here. So you see we have this nice sturdy clip we designed to hold your cloth diaper. And then I hold it by the clip here and hold it over the toilet at a slight angle, just making sure that the bottom rim is under the rim of your toilet. So when the splatter comes out, it doesn't go up over the toilet edge. And then like this, like in the video you see there, right under the edge, imagine that little edge of your camera or your phone is the toilet. 
then you just spray it full pressure and you can get your hand in there and blast it and then spray the doors clean. Then this is what Dave wanted to show. You want to show it? Sure. This is the best part. You can wring it out without touching the diaper. A lot of people think that you're still going to get your hands dirty, but not really at all because you can squeeze, twist, you bend, bend it. all you want. It's, it's not made break to last it. and we stand by it. So if for mm -hmm. some reason it does crack or something happens to it, which it won't. Yeah. You can email us and we'll replace it. Yeah. But yeah, so all so. the water gets squeezed out into the toilet and then you just take it over to your pail liner and like we store ours in a wet bag. So what I would do is take the wet bag that it was hanging in and just stick it under the bottom here and unclip my diaper in there. And then I can take this to my pail liner and get a new wet bag to let this air dry. You just kind of slip it in. That's why it folds up flat. So you can tuck it away behind your toilet or hanging it on the back of your bathroom door, whatever, and it's out of the way. So it's so, a, when your baby starts eating solids, it's one more little step that you have to throw in there. Yeah, you have but, to pre you have to pre wash a little bit. This, and that's, yeah, that's what this does. Because solid poop shouldn't go in laundry. No, or else and, all your laundry is going to smell like. Well, yeah, you just it it's, it doesn't seem sanitary. I know there's people who do it, or there's other people who do like the dunk and swish. Right. method spatula which method. we didn't want to yeah the spatula method we didn't want to do that so this was the most convenient easiest way for us and it really is a worthwhile investment if you just get a set once your daughter or son starts solids and then use it for the rest of the years <laughs> and you can pass mm -hmm. it down from baby to baby so there you have it that's our tips for starting solids um, if you have any tips you'd like to add below go ahead and do so and we'd love to hear from you all right we'll see you in the next episode Thanks. Bye.